Righto, we just got back from Gari, Fraser Island, the largest sand island in the world. It just, it never ends the sand, so it gets everywhere in your vehicle. So I'm just gonna give you a little, a few little tips of what I do to give your car a clean when you get back from your trip. The first step is I'm just gonna rinse all the um, sand off the car from the roof right down underneath. Just give it a good rinse off, try and get the visible sand off. Once you've got rid of all the sand, then we can just actually start washing the car. You can use a pressure cleaner, it's whatever you've got to use. Because when we were there, it was quite windy and you get a lot of salt mist that's in the air. So that just comes constantly on your car as well, let alone the sand that's getting flicked up everywhere and all that. So that's the first step, that's what I do. I just rinse off the whole car because there's sand everywhere. Just rinse it straight off the body, off the out of the um, the side steps as well. So now I'm gonna clean all the sand out of the rinse, all the sand out of the wheel arches and do the chassis. So what I and, and the underbody. So what I the couple of things that I use to get the sand for the underbody is this sprinkler there. You just hook that up, you can hook that up to your hose and it just like goes from side to side like that. It actually works pretty good. And I've actually got this thing here. I use this for my jet ski to flush the jet ski out as well. So you can put your um, solution, you can get it from like Salt Shift or Salty Captain or uh, Four Wheel Drive Detail. They sell pretty good stuff as well. And you can put in there, connect it onto this thing here and it'll put a solution underneath and wash it as well. If you want to use a high pressure hose and you can connect this up to there and it's like a lot more pressure and you can just like slide it up and underneath your car as well to do your unbody so i'll do two types i'll do this one and i'll do the other one the sprinkler as well and show you what it's like and that just like gets rid of all the sand that's just sitting there un underneath your body uh, underbody i've got this thing here i got this from the salt shift it's a chassis cleaner so it's got a range of like um, magnets here. And any hole that you've got on your chassis, you can just like, you plug this on it, it sticks there, put your hose on it. You can put this on it, put a solution through it as well. And this one is actually pretty good for your chassis because there's all the, these holes around the little um, dick sort of like thing here. And um, yeah, it just shoots off in every direction. So it's gonna get rid of all the sand that's sticking on the inside of your chassis. So this one you can put absolutely anywhere that's got a that hole. And this is what it looks like. So you can just plug it into anywhere and it'll stick there. Give it a couple of seconds or a minute and it gets rid of all the sand. I'll show you what it's like on the chassis. Everyone's got different chassis holes. So I'll start up the back here first. So that one just there, put it there, stick it on and let it go. And it just washes it all the way down to the front. It'll wash all the sand down. But this every hole on the way down, like this one here, that one there, that one there and you just keep going down to the front as far as you can go and just wash it all out so you got all the sand on your chassis there now and on the wheel arch i'm going to do all the wheel arches and spray in there as well and then i'll do the sprinkler underneath and that will get rid of most of it and then the high pressure one so you got one this is about in the middle so that's washing it all out of the chassis 
and then I'll go down the front. One in the front here, just here, it's a square one. Put it there and let it go. Okay, so that's the chassis. Cleaned out the chassis, I've already done the other side. So now I'm gonna clean all the wheel arches. See, there's like sand all over my suspension. We'll do that and then we'll do the sprinkler underneath to do the underbody. Okay, so what I've just done then, I just rinsed all the wheel arches, cleaned them out. Now I'm gonna put the, the sprinkler on. So I just got a little bit of solution there that you can, if you wanted to use that for the underbody, you can. And I'll just show you how it works. So you just chuck a bit in there and then as soon as you pull that lever down, it'll flush that solution through into the sprinkler. There you go. That's how this one works and it's chucking out the soap. Getting right in where the suspension is there. So you can do that for two minutes or three minutes, whatever. Do it in like three bits in the middle near the this right hand tire, then I'll go in the top, front of the back tires, then in the middle, then in the front of the rear, other uh, front tires, and then in front of the front tires as well. Just three three spots each time for about two or three minutes and yeah, it gets rid of the sand. Okay, so I'm up to my last three spots. It's in front of the front wheels so it does all the front suspension underneath the engine the diff front diff so just there in the middle and then this tire and then that's done and then I'll show you how to use the the high pressure one that goes under to do the underbody okay so I've got this attachment on now to a pressure cleaner and this is the other style that you can wash your underbody Okay, so now what I'm going to do, this sand just keeps popping up everywhere, so I've done the underbody, now I'm just going to do just another bit of a rinse underneath and, um, and then I'll pop the bonnet and I do a bit of a rinse underneath the bonnet as well because you just don't know where it's going to be. Have a bit of a visual inspection and see if you can see any. So I've had a bit of a look inside the engine bay and there's just a little bit there that's sitting on the battery and not much else is there but i'll give it a little bit of a rinse you just got to be careful of all your electronics okay, now i'm going to wash it i've just got mcguire's ultimate wash and wax hydrophobic polymer technology so you can use whatever you want whatever you can afford so i'm going to rinse it down again Make sure there's no sand on the paint. Done. All I've got to do now is just do the rims and the tires. Yeah, that's how I clean after a beach run. Everyone does it different. So if anyone wants to leave a comment of how you do it or what you use, put a comment down below and um, let us know and I'll try that. Give us a like, subscribe and we'll catch you on the next vid. Thanks for watching. See ya. So I'll just give you a couple of tips how to clean your car. Now, the next chapter is rust prevention.